gonna keep your jeans and your old black hat Cause I wanna, they look good on me You're never gonna get them back If y'all think about it, Hilary Duff invented boyfriend jeans But I'm going to keep your jeans? They look good on me? Yeah. I taste just like ice cream. Bitch, I am so ice, ice. Heart cold like an ice cream. That's why they don't like me. Ha. Yeah, that's why they don't like me. Yeah. I swear they do not like me. Flex on a broke bitch. Flex on a broke hoe. Flex on a broke nigga. Flex on a broke nigga. Hey gems, it's Cindy Rilla OG and welcome back to my channel. Y'all haven't seen me open up a vlog camera in a while, but I decided today I am going um, furniture shopping again. This is the last time. I don't really know if I'm going to really be looking for anything, but Z Gallery is closing down a bunch of stores and there's one location like really, really close to me that's doing 50 to 60% off. So I want to see if there's some things on my list that I can knock off because I really have like a few things on my list left but i'm gonna go ahead and see if there's anything i'm gonna knock off so i'm going to go ahead and meet thelma but first you girl gotta put her wig on so y'all gonna watch me do that and then we'll go about our day all right so this wig is from wiggins and i already cut it in another video which i did film but of course you know z car didn't save it i don't know how that happened but like it was just like oh all corrupted but i guess i'm just gonna style this hair and then i will be going out and meeting thelma and i guess this can be kind of like a chit chat get ready with me like while i do my hair i can talk for a little bit so yeah let's go ahead and do these Woo. when i went on instagram live the other day Obviously, I'm going to fix this wig. But when I went on Instagram Live the other day, I got a lot of good feedback about this wig. So, like, people were liking it or whatever. So, I'm so glad to be wearing it again today. Just in case, you know, I decide to go anywhere after we go, like, look at furniture and stuff at Z Gallery. But, yeah, I really do like this wig. It, like, has, like, the body that I really liked. I'm glad that I cut it because I think me cutting it um, made it look even better. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna use some leave-in conditioner with it, some water, and there's no water in here. I'm gonna put some water in there. And I also am gonna use this uh, stretch silkening cream. It just made my curls look really good. Yeah, it's a good curl cream. Um, but yeah, it just made my curls look really good. And also, I'm going to top everything off with this Got To Be Kinkier Curling Mousse. So yeah, that's how I am styling my hair today. Let's talk a little bit. Oh my gosh, so, if you guys watch my stories and stuff like that, then you guys know that I have been keeping up with Love Island, both the US and the UK version. And let me just say this. I will no longer be watching the a u.s version the uk version is about to end and depending on how they do with casting next year um will depend on like you know exactly where my heart and head is gonna be but in regards to like watching um love island i'm just really disappointed because i feel like hold on let me put some water in this thing i just feel like these shows are not built for black women that's just my opinion um, and you know, if y'all agree with me, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. If you watch Love Island, the US or the UK version, like just let me know what you think about this because I'm about to go in. Like, I'm not gonna try and say too much, but enough is going to be said. I just feel like in these shows, they meet their quota for like um, picking black women, which is like maybe one or two. Uh, one actual black woman and then they'll pick a racial amb uh, racially ambiguous girl um, maybe one or two throw them in there and it just so happens that within the first couple of weeks they get the black girls out the black girls with the darkest skin tones they get them out immediately like almost immediately 
And I was really having a hard time like thinking, okay, why is it like I was so excited to see you one day and I was like, okay, so they did good with casting this time. Only to see her get mugged off by Danny. Like that was not fun for me to watch. It wasn't fun for me to watch. I think it was like really triggering too. And the thing the problem is, it's not the problem the problem is not that she's less beautiful than anyone in the house. I'm not saying that any of these other people don't be deserve to be picked as well. But the problem is not that you know these black women um are not less beautiful less desirable or anything the problem is these casting directors or whoever the producers all of them are picking guys that are not attracted to dark-skinned women they're not and before y'all go in the comments and say but danny um but but yayman no don't do that because if you notice, as soon, as soon as another girl came in the house, these guys were so quick to jump. So it looked like they were using these black girls as placeholders for whenever they were ready to go ahead and find someone that he really wanted to go on with. Is no one else seeing this? Is nobody else seeing this? And I knew from the jump, when I watched um, Love Island USA, the first episode, I, you know, I thought Yemen was the cutest, obviously, because, you know, that's more of my type which would, uh, in the house. In the house. That's more of my type. But, like, I could tell, like, from the way he, like, kind of carried himself, even from the way he, like, danced. Sip tea. I could definitely tell that Yemen was one of those um, black guys that kind of prefers girls that are not black I could tell I could definitely tell and the reason I could tell is because I went to school with them I've encountered them closer than you know people might think um and I have even been with one before like one maybe like in high school not like officially but obviously not so yeah I went to prom with one Okay, I got into it um, in my uh, in the comments of Love Island USA's uh, picture. They put a picture about, oh, who's missing? I was like, oh, Alana, but y'all don't really care about black women anyway. Y'all don't really want black women in the, the show anyway. And I'll put up screenshots or whatever. But the amount of people that really did not understand where I was coming from when I said that these producers and these shows don't really care about black women, it was just very funny oh dang it was very funny they were saying things like why do you guys have to bring race into it you have to play that card every time for every caucasian that seems to be in these households y'all don't really see them having trouble finding a connection with anyone whereas where it comes to the black girls usually even if they are interested in you know the white guys or whatever the white guys aren't interested in them and when they are interested in a black guy, the sight of a new white girl, they're left in the dust. So I hate to get all like political and stuff like that on here or whatever with you guys. But I feel like these are things that I should be talking about, especially if I see them. Like it, it bothered me and especially having a platform and like, you know, allowing people to, you know, see my life and represent for the darker toned women out there, it hurts me to see us in um, places like this and still being treated like that. If you do your research, the black women are the least desirable women in like dating apps and stuff like that. Um, I know a lot of y'all have probably seen the um, BuzzFeed articles and videos and stuff about that. Uh, regarding like dating apps and like who's the least desirable I think it's like Asian men and black women something like that but do your research and don't be so quick to say oh you people need to be more simple minded <clears throat> Karen you heard me don't don't do that because what you're doing then is saying that like people don't have a right to like stand up for themselves you know that's all I got to say on it, but let me go ahead and finish my hair and then we can hop out, guys. 
all right so this is as good as it's gonna get <laughs> i'm just kidding but no this is um pretty much what it's gonna look like until it dries but by the time i get to z gallery it should be dry so um i'm done with this here i'm gonna pack up all my stuff over here switch back to the vlog camera and then we can head on out so the store is like literally completely empty but i am getting these two glasses I think they're cute. They're like some big wine glasses. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with these and then look around at Waters Creek and see what else is here. All right, so as y'all saw, only found some glasses because it was pretty much empty, but now I'm walking into Sephora because Thelma's in here. I'm finally gonna see her. There she is. Sorry. I drove 30 whole miles in total. I'm literally there and back. This place is right next to my house. I know. It's always like it's closer to you. You're like, oh, I'm coming. I'm like, where'd you coming from? At least you look good. And you bought something. So right now, Thelma and I oh, are looking this. at it's this. It's this. her fumes. I wish I could see her right now, but I can't put her on camera. This is the one I need. I love it. Yeah, that doesn't smell like me. Um, but y'all, I have officially discovered my favorite perfume ever. Oh god. Um, and whenever she brings it back, I'll show you guys what it's called. Decadence by Marc Jacobs, and it smells. We we spread it all over ourselves because so honestly, it's the best fun perfume I've ever smelled in my life. Oh, it smells so good. I wish someone could smell I me right now. <laughs> we went to Home Goods a long, well, like I guess two weeks ago. <gasps> you know what? This is actually cute. Oh, what it's, is that? It's seventy-five dollars. No, it says thirty-eight. No, that's not that. That's the roller pearl. It's not a roller pearl. This is the one ounce perfume. I thought when I just get, get the big one. Honestly, though, it's like, cute. It's really but cute. For but for the difference yeah. in price, if it were 50, or I'd be like, eh. Yeah, no, like, it's this is bottle. so cute, but literally, this is the next bottle up. So it's like, is it really worth it, the $25? between this and this I don't know but Miss Dior is really really good smelling as well um, I have chance by Chanel I love it, it smells really really good surprisingly y'all really didn't really think this but Katy Perry has a really really good smelling I hate saying really really but I say really really a lot but anyway Katy Perry has a really good smelling um, perfume as well I forgot what the name was but when I get home I'll tell you guys because I've had it since my freshman year and I haven't finished it yet that's one thing I do love about how I use perfumes is they last for years for me. Do they last for years for you? Or do you just like, do you use your perfumes up? I do. I mean, I go to work every day. There's no way it can last for years. I have multiple. Woman though. usually finish them in three months. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We go. Thank you so much. Yay. But yeah, we got decadence samples. But yeah, so i'll tell you guys the name of that later but it smells so good i love it i love it a lot hey y'all so it is now friday and i'm about to go meet up with ashley we're actually going to take pictures today which is great because i've been needing to take pictures and i hate when my lashes feel like they're getting wonky or whatever Ugh, does anyone else have that problem like when your lashes like start acting up but anyway yeah i'm about to start driving every time that i Ashley said this before but every time we take pictures together we're like pretty much on the same page anytime we're filming or anything like that we know that we're probably gonna be a little later than we usually say we're gonna be there so it's good like working with her or whatever so yeah I'm about to go ahead and start driving though and um, I guess whenever I get to our destination then I will pick you guys back up I really hope we go eat today cuz I'm kind of hungry so I would like to eat some food and uh, even get like a nice not outdoor but like a nice sitting picture like if we were in a restaurant or whatever I would like that for my birthday too yeah I don't know if y'all know this by now y'all should know by now but I actually plan out my pictures like a month in advance and I switch them around all the time like to see what will fit but I definitely plan my pictures like a month in advance to see like what I would like to take and um yeah so <laughs> call me weirdo i don't know 
<laughs> but yeah, so I'm about to go ahead and head out and I'll see you guys whenever we get there. All right, y'all, so I'm finally here with hey. Ashley. <laughs> um, so yeah, we are at this place, West Village, is yeah. in Dallas. And we're about to take pictures right now. Ashley's gonna go first. Um, my lashes, I hate when they feel like this. They feel wonky, but I can always fix them um, in the pictures whenever I edit them. <laughs> but yeah, so we're about to take pictures right now and then hopefully eat after because the girl is hungry. We're definitely eating after. Yes, we're definitely eating after because the girl is hungry. And hopefully we can eat Miko's and it's like right in front of us. So I'm really, really excited to eat that. And actually, I'm glad that we're here at this place because I think we took a lot of pictures at, um, what's that place called? I think we're Legacy Weston Out. Look, yeah, 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 that's exactly what I was trying to say. Like yeah, yeah, different background, new scenery. So I'm glad that we're here at this place right now. So we're about to take pictures right now. She got her little camera set up and everything. And she has like this awesome camera that we've been using for our pictures and stuff like that. It takes great pictures, so. It's all about the lens, baby, but we're about to go ahead and start on Ashley. hear that in the background that is Thelma we are at home goods right now looking for like you know things to tick off on our list my list is almost done for but I figured if I'm going to come and shop I might as well take you guys on this trip with me so I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I am already getting right now so as a basic necessity I did go ahead and grab some loofahs they have some other ones here and they are only at $3.99 y'all $3.99 and I got three of them for $3.99 so that's really cool and then I have this little bath rug right here and this toilet paper thing that I can like put all my other toilet papers on and I really am excited to go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go ahead and put that there and let's go ahead and keep on looking 
can y'all let me know in the comment section down below do you use shower caddies my parents use shower caddies and I never have used one and I, I don't know if they're like actually that useful or not because I keep all my stuff in um, this little closet that I have designated for like all my hair stuff, all my shower stuff, all my masks and everything. So I don't use it, but a lot of people think it's necessary. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below if you think it's necessary as well. No cap, I am really feeling these lamps right here. Even these ones with like the little eggshells inside of them. I think that is so cool. Um, like if you like had a beachy themed room, this would be really really cool like a nature beachy themed room That would be dope. It's beach cells. It's cute it's beach. Oh, Look at those lamps right there Y'all I just want y'all to see this <sighs> Baby, I'm coming back for you. I swear to God. I'm coming back for you, boo. Like I'm not getting to see but I'm getting you back. Oh my God, exactly. So it's so beautiful. Gorgeous. I just, I want it so that big. So it's fitted out. It's, so <laughs> it's fitted out. <laughs> this is a good price. This is, for something like this. For something like this, it is a good price, but Cindy's not spending that much money today. That's a really nice. Y'all, I spent $300 like two uh, two days ago. They I can't, I can't do Ross this. Again. They do. No, they do. Ross and Ross is them. where I wanted but to go today, are too. All under the same family. <gasps> Look at these ones. For me. This home is not bright. What type of light? The inside kind of looks light. pink from the but camera. It's not going to bring light into my room. It will not. So well, I mean, no. You got to just change the bulb. Are you? But the bulb is bright. It's a, the shade itself is dark. Yeah, Omo, I don't know. I don't know about that one. It's pretty, but the shade is dark. Oh my God, y'all. These bar stools are just so cute. I wonder how much they are. Let me find the price. Y'all see a price? You see a price? You see a price? I don't see a price. I don't. I don't see a price. See, it's on the back of this thing. Cause this is a really good well of mine. My place. I don't see no price. Damn. All right. It's all good. But I like that. I like that a lot. I think those two would look really good in my place. So Thelma informed me that it'd be smart to get like an over the door hanger. Oh my God, this one's actually cheaper than this one and they're the exact same thing. I'm gonna check this out. This, see, this is how y'all shop, so, uh, very safe. Look, this this says $10, right? It says $9.99, but this one is the exact same thing and it says $7.99. So here's a little tip for y'all. Look at the prices of everything, especially things that look similar. Come on now, focus. But look at the prices of everything Especially things that look similar to each other because like two dollars. I promise you in the long run it will make a difference So it's going in my cart Y'all I really like this. I think I want to put like this over my over my toilet in my bathroom or something Like I want you to see something real quick. Hold on. Like look like she looks like me, right? Well, hold on, hold on. She does not No, she doesn't she doesn't she doesn't look like you. I think so. I think so. I'm gonna get it. Girl, that I'm gonna get it. does not look like, <laughs> like me. It does not look like me. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's me. I'm gonna say it's me. Hold on, I'm gonna need it's cause my glasses are on. It's cause my glasses are on, okay. <laughs> it's cause I'm not wearing red lipstick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> gems so it is sunday i just got back from church and um well i just i went to church early and then i went to the gym afterwards um and i came home and made myself my little tea or whatever from teeny blends and y'all that tea has been getting me right um and they even give you like a little card so where you can um mark off the days that you do because they have two teas they have the colon tea and they have the teamy skinny and you use teamy skinny every day for 30 days and then you use the teamy colon every other day for 15 days and yeah it just you know cleans out your system gets you right yeah i drink the teamy skinny every morning and then i drink the teamy colon um in the evening just to kind of flush out my system but that's every other day 
um and yeah so i've been drinking that for a while so y'all go ahead and check out teamy blends because i've been rocking with them for like a while now i like i like their products and um i wouldn't just you know put something out there that you guys shouldn't try out if i didn't really like it so yeah hey gems it's sunday and now i'm about to go to naomi's because we're about to film a tipsy tuesday today i don't know if i have any plans afterwards so this might be the end of the vlog i'm not sure yet but um yeah we're about to film a tipsy tuesday it would be me uh tina and naomi and uh, Y'all should be seeing y'all should be seeing that tomorrow because this comes out on Monday. So y'all will see this on Tuesday. So yeah, this will come out tomorrow. So yeah. So you guys will see um the Tipsy Tuesday. It's gonna be a good one. I know you guys will be looking forward to it. I hope you guys have gotten acquainted to all the giveaway details. I'm about to pull up soon. So in the meantime, I'm about to jam out. But I am gonna keep your jeans. <laughs> And Joe Black hat, cause I wanna, they look good on me. You're never gonna get them back. If y'all think about it, Hillary Duff invented boyfriend jeans. But I'm going to keep your jeans? They look good on me? Yeah. Yeah. That's my bitch. <laughs> mm hmm. Hey! How do y'all feel about that new Beyonce album now? This is my favorite track. This is my favorite track. Oh, 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 oh. Watch out, watch out for them hyenas. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Look around and all the places you go.